At this point, we're all pretty drunk. We're like recording uh, surf rock in the studio. When it comes to collaboration, I think that it's important for me because everything I've done is sort of like mixing things. I'm not really talented as a musician. I can't play, you know, guitar solos, but I can like mix things together. So collaboration is important as far as bringing artists together, bringing styles together. Like, you know, Lee Perry is sort of from the old school and kind of like a figure from you know, very established from the reggae music, and I'm sort of doing a, a twist on reggae, as, among other things. And then, um, you know, we're doing Carnival up, and he's in town at the same time, so we just invited him to do a set during our Carnival party. And he's here for the, the studio, so we thought we'd mix it together and just do like a couple, couple hours here. Hi, nice to meet you. I mean, if you know reggae music, you know who he is, because he's kind of a big deal. You know, he produced like the best work Bob Marley ever did. He's done like crazy dub records, very avant-garde, experimental. Um, I actually found out about him from reading the BC Boys magazine they used to have called Grand Royal. They had a whole issue dedicated to him. And since then I've followed it and I know he kind of like was a, was one of the major figures in, in starting dub music and um, yeah, he's a, kind of a big deal. Well, my name is Lee Scratch Perry and I'm working for God and I'm God's main man and God sent me to represent God, to represent good over evil to represent peace over war and to legalize ganja marijuana in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the last one. We have three. I have three that I really like. There's three. I'll play them for you again and then you can decide. Well, it's fun. Uh, he's also a crazy person. Because he's also a crazy idea. And I like, to, I like crazy people. They go and pick up the stick and you lick it. Music. I think that anything that's like on the fringe, I'm into. You know, I'm not interested in doing like indie rock or pop rock so much. I would, because it's something I haven't done, but I just like to do things that are out there that I, I think I can add something General to. General Laser. Major Laser. Admiral Laser. I am the Blazer. I think they are smart, smart people. They think exactly and go into my world and find out what made me kick. And not everybody has the sense enough to do that. I think I'm probably as uh, eccentric as he is. We just don't know that. Generals of war, free soldiers, free admiral, free general, free armies. War comes and war go, war go back to hell. I don't know if you actually caught the magic that was happening in this room, but the most important thing for us, you know, when we make major laser records, we just grab a lot of vocals and we sit in the studio and we dissect them and, you know, it's kind of like Legos and building it back up again. Crashy major laser, what boom, boom, beef, bam, tum, tum, major laser, I'm an earthquake. I rock and shake, I roast and bake. I am a quake. When I shake the earth shake, when I quake, boom, major laser, boom. Dancehall music or Jamaican music in general is already like an amalgamation of everything. You know, from when it started with soul music turning into ska records, to when it, they developed the reggae sound, to when reggae inspired every other genre from hip hop to drum and bass to UK garage to dubstep. It's always been like a huge influence on everything that I've done or everything that people do in the underground. If you think about dancehall, really, literally, it's, it's kind of like a mash of everything anyway. I think London's, you know, really proud of its Caribbean roots. When it comes to reggae and dub influencing everything. You have like, you know, subgenres like drum and bass and dubstep, and you know, even UK garage, or even some some bands like The Clash. One of my favorite groups is sort of like a reggae hybrid with punk rock. I think London always has like a certain way to twist reggae up and make something else of it and kind of distribute it to the rest of the world. I'm really excited about that because everything here is so progressive, and and and, and the music fans here are so hyper to like have new things.
reggae music's more in, ingrown in everybody's culture here. Everybody seems to be aware of, of Caribbean culture in some way. Of course, Langan is my backyard. London first recognized my talent. Carnival, I want to play some proper dancehall records. You want to hear some dancehall? Make some noise right now. <laughs> You know, tonight's just gonna be a sort of a mess. Just like everything we wanna do, and records we like, dub plates, shit like that. It'd be cool. Lee Scratch Perry? Yeah. He's gonna be just chilling with us, I think. I'm not sure. What are we gonna do with Lee Perry? I think we're just gonna wait for it to accidentally happen. I bless you people with a blessing that you never discover that you could be so blessed. And I bless the major laser so much. Boom! Lee Perry, you know, his productions are inspirational for a lot of people. Being eccentric and crazy and, you know, really bringing like engineering and producing to another level. As I developed a taste for reggae and like old school reggae, I learned he was one of the most important figures. So, you know, I'm here lucky to do something with him today. Thank you.